Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video, we will see the Gaussian distribution. It is known as the normal distribution also. And uh, we will also discuss the plot of Gaussian PDF. Here you can see that this is the plot of uh, this Gaussian probability density function. PDF is probability density function. And this is the symbol for uh, probability density function and this plot of this Gaussian uh, distribution is between this probability density function PDF and X here capital X is the random variable and uh, small x is the values of the random variables okay you can see here the shape of this uh, Gaussian distribution so let's see some uh, basic uh, properties of uh, Gaussian probability density function and some other basics of uh, Gaussian distribution okay actually in probability theory it is a very common continuous probability distribution and is generally used to represent real valued random variables having unknown distributions okay the thermal noise that is uh, generated by the random motion of uh, thermally agitated electrons has the gaussian distribution so this is an example of uh, a gaussian distribution where thermally generated thermally agitated electrons electrons random motion gives the gaussian distribution another example is uh, of random errors in uh, measurements that create the measured values having gaussian distribution about the true value actually whenever we want to measure some values and uh, measure uh, and there is some true value for it the exact value the accurate or true value for that uh, measurement but uh, we while we perform experiments then we may not uh, get uh, we definitely will not get the exact value so there will be various uh, we will have a set of uh, large number of uh, random values about that true value of measurement so these all uh, random errors uh, that are in that we have in measurements create the measured values having gaussian distribution about the true value okay now let's see the gaussian distribution or the normal distributions the probability density function the pdf for a gaussian random variable is given as fx equals to 1 upon sigma under root 2 pi e raised to the power minus x minus m whole square divided by 2 sigma square so this is a formula for uh, this uh, probability density function for a gaussian random variable okay here what is a sigma square sigma square is the variance of the random variable and uh, what is m here this m m is the mean value of the random variable okay you can also see it here that uh, this m is the mean value okay of this random variable and at x equals to m in this formula that i just um, showed you if you place x equal to m then you will get pdf as 1 upon sigma under root 2 pi we will see it later wh while we will discuss uh, various properties of the plot of gaussian distribution function so let's now discuss the properties of gaussian pdf property number one the gaussian probability density function plot that we have seen is symmetrical and the symmetry is of uh, even symmetry kind okay it is symmetrical about the mean value x equals to m and this x equal to m is also the median and mode of the distribution let me show you this value x equals to m this is a graph between uh, probability density function and x so for the values x equals to m this is the mean value as you can see that uh, about this it is symmetrical about this about this x, x equals to m value this uh, uh, gaussian pdf plot is symmetrical symmetrical means the part uh, towards the left side of x equals to m is equals to the is symmetrical or same as the part that is towards the right side so this kind of symmetry is known as the even symmetry okay and i also told you that uh, this x equal to m is not only the mean but also the median and mode of this distribution so x equal to m is the mean mode and median of the probability density functions plot gaussian pdf okay since uh, we know by the even symmetry that uh, if you go 
little bit towards left side or right side towards this mean value towards the even symmetrical line the axis of symmetry then you will have the same values so if you move sigma towards this side so you will have this value and uh, if you move uh, fx m plus sigma m plus sigma and m minus sigma then you will have the same value okay you can see it because it is symmetrical that's why we have written here that fx m minus sigma this is the mean value so left side little bit left side toward uh, from this uh, x equal to m mean value and little bit uh, uh, right side will have the same value of uh, pdf on this curve on this plot now the property number two the peak of the gaussian pdf is at its mean value that is at x equals to m we have seen it i will show it to you again so we can calculate this peak value at x equals to m since uh, in this equation the equation that we have seen earlier if you put x equals to m then we will get this value the peak value at x equals to m you see here that uh, at x equals to m value this plot has the maximum or the peak value and this this peak value is equals to 1 upon sigma under root 2 pi so how we can get this value we just uh, put uh, x equals to m in this equation just put fx m x equals to m in this equation and you will get fx equals to 1 upon sigma under root 2 pi which is the maximum value because we know that uh, this curve is uh, getting its peak at x equals to m so on putting x equals to m we will get the maximum value at the peak which is 1 upon sigma under root 2 pi now we will see the property number three the property number three states that the area under the Gaussian PDF curve below and above the mean value is half. That is probability that x is less than or equals to m and probability that x is uh, greater than to m is half. The area about this whole curve towards left and right side below or above the mean value x equals to m is half. Look here, since this is uh, evenly symmetrical about this x equals to m and uh, this is clear that uh, the the area towards both of these sides left and right of x equals to m is equal and it is equals to half since we also know we can uh, understand it that the area under the pdf curve is uh, one okay the probability density function area under this curve curve is one and uh, this is dividing it into two equal parts x equals to m axis uh, since it is evenly symmetrical so half and half both sides half plus half is one so the, so the total area is half plus half equals to one under this probability density function curve this is another uh, property of a pdf that area under pdf is one so now we will discuss the fourth property the property number four is for this curve for this gaussian distribution plot its first derivative is positive for x less than m its first derivative is equals to zero at x equals to m while it is negative for x greater than m let me show you how look here in this uh, curve of uh, gaussian pdf the gaussian distribution we have here uh, three regions uh, for uh, the derivative part if we are just taking the first derivative first derivative okay not second or third or higher derivatives for first derivative this part from here to here which is uh, less than x for x less than uh, m you see that this part is having derivative positive okay and this part at x equals to m it has derivative zero slope zero and it is negative the derivative is negative for the part which is greater than m x greater than m how uh, let me show it to you again see here this is the this is our curve okay the i'm just drawing a rough sketch of it okay this is the shape and here we have uh, x equals to m here it is x and here is fx of x and now see that for this this range from here to here it is having 
positive derivative positive first derivative if you see its slope let's draw a tangent to it you see these tangents let me use another uh, color so these lines okay observe these all these lines now at these points okay so you will see here that uh, at x equals to x equals to m the slope of this line is zero the slope is given by the slope is equals to tan theta the derivative is the slope of this is tan theta theta is the angle from the positive direction of x axis in the in the anti clockwise direction so if you draw this then this is theta and this is theta from the x axis so you see here that uh, this is having theta less than 90 degrees and we know that uh, so the tan theta is for this if theta is less than 90 degree then it is tan theta is positive because we know that uh, in this case if we have uh, four quadrants of 90 degrees each then in this quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive and in the second quadrant from 90 to 180 sin and cosec are Uh, positive and in this third quadrant tan and cot are positive while in fourth cos and sec so if we are uh, saying that uh, this this is is the line having a positive slope because this theta is less than 90 degree so slope tan theta is positive so its derivative is positive while at t equals to at at x equals to m we have a slope that is this theta is 0 degrees with the x axis so tan 0 is 0 so slope that is the derivative is derivative is the slope so its slope is the derivative is 0 at x equals to m but for look at these these any any of these line that which is a uh, for which the x is uh, greater than m just draw a horizontal line and see this angle we always measure the anti clockwise direction from the uh, x axis so you see that this is definitely greater than this angle is greater than 90 degrees this theta is greater than 90 degrees and so the tan theta would be negative since in this quadrant sin and cosec are positive but tan is negative so this derivative is negative so you can say here that uh, for x less than m the derivative is uh, positive for at x equals to m the derivative is zero uh, and for this uh, distribution gaussian distribution for x uh, greater than m values its derivative is negative i hope you understood uh, all the concepts about this uh, gaussian pdf and the gaussian distribution function see you soon in the next video with the more such informative videos till then take care and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such videos and click on the like button and share it with your friends thanks for watching bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye